For the most part, the mechanical customized keyboard game is one engaged with by PC users, if only because most keyboards come with Windows buttons on them, and of course, most customized keycap sets do as well. But that doesn't mean you can't get in on the game if you're a Mac user, or if you're someone who uses more than one platform. One company that's offered itself up as a platform agnostic option the past few years is Keychron. We reviewed its first Mac keyboard a few years ago, and it's since expanded its range to include a number of models. And one of the ones that has been added most recently is also the one that's probably the most customizable, the Keychron Q2. I'm Cam Bunsen from Pocketlint, and this is our review. And while you're here, if you like this video, please do leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and tap the notification bell, and that way you don't miss any of our videos. There are a few really good things about the Q2's design. That will undoubtedly make it appealing to a number of different users, but the thing that strikes first is just how solid it feels. The entire chassis is made from a durable, hefty aluminium. In fact, when you pick it up, it feels like it's made of a solid chunk of the stuff. And that's good, because it means it's not likely it'll ever slip around on your desk. You can type away at your natural pace and style without worrying about being too heavy-handed. It makes it feel like it's a permanent part of your desk setup, not a flimsy light thing that'll shift around. Keychron says the process for crafting this aluminium involves more than 24 manufacturing stages, including CNC machining, polishing, anodizing, and sandblasting, which helps give it this smooth matte finish. Our unit is the matte black model, but it's also available in navy and grey. Now, despite its obvious heft, it's also quite a compact keyboard. It's a 10 keyless, 65% design. So there's no number pad and no dedicated function row. Now, you can access standard functions by pressing the F1 button and a number together, but since the functions aren't actually printed on the keycaps that come installed with the keyboard, it's a case of learning which one does which. It's probably our only complaint with this design. Some of its other 65% keyboards do have the functions on them, but not on this set of keycaps that comes pre-installed on this keyboard. Directional arrows are placed under the enter and shift keys, but still separated enough to make them intuitive and easy to use. The only other extra keys you get are the delete and home key. And that's it. Now, one of the best things about the Keychron, as someone who predominantly uses Mac for work, is that the keyboard comes with both Mac and Windows keys as standard. So if you want to hook it up to your Mac Mini, MacBook, or iMac, you can get the standard Apple set and not have to figure out which of the Windows keys does what on your Apple machine. And there's also a switch on the back of the keyboard that you can switch between Mac and Windows settings, depending on which system you're hooking it up to. Of course, this switch and having those extra keycaps for both platforms means that you can switch between them as well. Now, moving on to the typing and the feel and the sound, and one of the most important part of the keyboard's design is actually inside it. The top case is a CNC chunk of aluminium, like we've said, and beneath that is a layer of sound-absorbing foam, which sits beneath a steel plate. Beneath that, the printed circuit board, and then a layer of foam again underneath that. And lastly, the bottom case, also made from aluminium. Now, what's more, there are also silicon gaskets in between each metal layer. All of that helps deaden any resonance that might occur naturally if all those metal parts were in contact with each other. All of this means that you get that proper mechanical feel, but at a volume that's quite quiet by mechanical standards. Of course, the feel and sound is very much dictated by the switches, and when you buy the Q2, you can choose between three pre-installed options. All of them are Gatoron G Pro switches, and if you opt for the red or brown switches, they're pre-lubricated as well, so you don't have to get messy yourself. Or if you'd rather have a more clicky switch, there is a blue switch. But of course, the big draw of this model is actually they're hot swappable, so you can change them and customize them the way that you want to, whenever you want to. The keyboard comes with a switch puller tool, and you can remove them and replace them with switches of your preference. Our unit came pre-installed with the red switches, which are pre-lubed, and strike a great balance between being smooth and tactile. They're nice to type on, and seem to just glide effortlessly under the fingertips, without being mushy and soft like the brown ones feel. And thanks to being supported by some dedicated stabilizers, the larger keys like the spacebar, shift, enter and delete are all stable and wobble free. It doesn't seem to matter which part of the keys you press, whether on the right or on the left or in the middle, the key just depresses reliably and evenly. What's more, it's a comfortable keyboard to type on for long periods without getting any cramp, 
but to achieve this, you do really need a palm rest. The keyboard's height means you'll need to get a rest of some description to ensure you're not bending your wrists at too much of an angle. That's a recipe for carpal tunnel. Keychron does sell its own, or there are a plethora of other options out there. Now moving on to customization and features, and when you place your order for the Q2, you do get a lot of different options to choose from, depending on which color you want, which switches you want installed, and whether you want it as a bare bones unit or one that has all the keys installed. There's also one with a rotating knob in the corner, which we have here. It's actually really, really handy for just adjusting volume quickly. We've already mentioned the hot swappable switches, and for those who really want to go to town, it supports both 5-pin and 3-pin switches, so you're not necessarily stuck with the ones that Keychron offers. And the same is true of the keycaps. The world of keycaps options is massive. It's become one of the ways for consumers to express their individuality, and Keychron itself offers keycap packs with different color combinations and options. Plus, they're not too expensive comparatively. On the software or firmware side, you can also customize the coloring, brightness, and animation of the RGB backlighting. It's a per-key system with the LED placed on the bottom of each switch, so it's more visible. Now, since the keycaps don't show you which ones adjust which backlight settings, it's actually really handy to dive into the VIA app. Here, you can check the secondary functions and get familiar with them. You can also remap keys and create your own custom macros and save your own profiles, as well as testing the keys to make sure they all work. If there's one feature that might put off some buyers, or actually, let me correct myself, it's the lack of one feature that might put off some buyers, and that's the lack of wireless connectivity. Unlike its K-series models, the Q2 is wired only, so no Bluetooth pairing. On the plus side, that does mean there's no battery to recharge. It also means, unlike Keychron's Bluetooth models, it never goes to sleep. And it means latency isn't a problem. It's always on, and it's always responsive. You just can't quickly switch between multiple devices at the press of a button. Still, if you only need it for your desktop PC or Mac, that again is no problem. As a package, the Keychron Q2 is an incredibly solid offering from a brand with a growing reputation. It's solid, reliable, and customizable, plus it's great to type on. If you're a fan of the compact mechanical keyboards, you should definitely add this to your list of models to check out because unless you need Bluetooth or wireless support, it doesn't do much wrong. It's not the cheapest keyboard out there, but given its typing experience and the build quality and the features that it offers, it's actually not all that bad. The Q2 is available from now. I've been Cam, I'm at Cam Bunton on social media. You can find me on there, ask me questions if you want to. And don't forget, if you like this video, please do leave a like, subscribe, and tap the notification bell to make sure you don't miss any more. See you in the next one. Bye for now.